Microphone checker. One, two, checker. Good morning, guys. So today is day two of our van bill. But before we start on her, we're gonna work a little bit on ourselves. So it's off to the gym. <laughs> hey guys! Hey, so what's going on? Hey, so welcome back to our channel. I'm Tanaj. And I'm Faustino. And today what we're going to be doing is removing the side panels. We are going to be filling the holes with uh, silicone right. and we are going to be replacing the panels. Right, that's going to protect it from uh, the rust because if you notice from the inside, uh, you can see where the water uh, drips down the, uh, the plastic pegs. And we're going to try to uh, coat that over. Hopefully it works out great. You know, working with plastic pigs can be difficult. It's gonna be tedious. I think it's gonna be tedious. Okay, guys. Deuces! So, as you guys can see, I've already started taking the panel off the side. Pastino's going to finish up. Then we're gonna take the pegs out. We're gonna seal them with silicone and we'll put the panel right back. Now that we have the panels off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a mild detergent and gently clean this area. That we're gonna take these pegs loose. They should pop right off and then pop back into the panel. So I guess this is why everyone takes the pegs out from the outside because you are able to access all the pegs on the outside. Now there are some pegs that are still there but Pastino can't see these from the inside so he'll still have to come out here and pop them out. Wow, a good 30 minutes we finally got all the pegs out of the side of the van. Now that was a kind of tedious task yep. and what we used was a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, a piece of cloth. Right, the wrap around the screwdriver yeah, to not cause any more scratches. Yeah, just to try to not scratch the paint. And we also used a, this, uh, a pair of pliers. The, once, once we took off the front cover, we uh, popped off the pegs from the back, which uh, I guess a pair of pliers, that way you could just squeeze on the pegs and they'll pop right out. Like, it really wasn't that difficult. We just popped one side off, popped the other side off, and it was done. Uh, it was super easy to plug the pegs back into the panel. Like, that wasn't hard at all. These little pegs pop right back into the panel. So very easy. What we're gonna do now is before we actually seal the pegs back up with uh, silicone, what we're gonna do is we are going to spray some Rust-Oleum around the holes. So guys, we're back at it. We're on the side of the van and what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna use this to spray the holes where the pegs were and then we'll be able to uh, silicone the pegs and replace them. I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end. Crib outside the city. Just finished spraying the Rust Oleum, and what we realized is that you might want to have a rag handy because the paint will drip down onto your paint, and you probably don't want that. This is us cleaning the paint. Add it up, add it up, bank roll, bank roll, euro, euro, peso, peso, add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Cool, so the pegs are back in almost all but one well two and then here's the the silicone that we're going to use and we're using a natural base silicone just finished putting the silicone around the pegs now the plan is to be able to put the panel back on the van without any incident it should just pop right back on right so that's what everyone says so let's see if it works out like this is this okay yeah that's the right way
Okay, so as we were trying to take the panel off from the wheel well, what'd you realize? There's a, um, there's a 716 uh, bolt holding the, uh, the wheel well cover. So make sure you pull that off on the bottom. And then there's a nut on the inside. Make sure you hold it in case you're, uh, the screws, the bolt starts spinning. Pretty much easy to get to. So not too much damage. We're just gonna get something and uh, clean this up, fill those holes, and we'll jump on this one. put the panel back. Okay, so I just put uh, a covering over the front seats because when we spray the primer, the Rust-Oleum, it kind of has a back spray so it gets over everything or it gets on everything. So to prevent our seats from turning white, it's like a painter's blanket. So that should do it. So guys the paneling is back on the van and this is basically how it looks so here is the silicone it is uh, actually surrounding the pig and next I think what we're gonna do is we're going to spray some rust-oleum on this area right here and hopefully it will never look like that again So, Did we uh, start at 9 o'clock? I think it was more no, like No, I think noon. it maybe was... Wasn't it like 11? Because I remember something that we were doing something at 11. Noon? Hell to the noon. started at noon. Today was a short day. Today was an extremely short day. Yeah, I think so it was noon. Okay, so guys, we started at 12 and it is now 3.30. So what we did today was basically everything we already told you we did. <laughs> <laughs> we took the panels off, we uh, sprayed, sprayed it with Rust-Oleum, and we sealed the peg with holes silicone. with silicone. Right, uh, passenger side was a little slow. Uh, I guess it was our first time, but once we did that driver side, pop, 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 pop. I think it took maybe 30 minutes, 15 it to 30 minutes maybe. It literally took about 30 minutes to do the to do the driver's side. Right. Now that passenger side though, it may have took about an hour and a half right. because we were new to it so we didn't want to break, break the right. panel or anything so we were being extra careful. It's just on this side we felt a little more confident right. so we were able to kind of pop them off a little bit more rapidly yeah, yeah, than definitely. the other side. Um, it was good. Uh, I, I, if you were gonna pop your uh, sides off your vehicle, make sure like like we said earlier, make sure you uh, a little rag, cover up the paint, spilling over you're probably gonna need like a plastic screwdriver or something that won't scrape the paint while you're trying to pop them off that's that you guys hopefully we'll get some packages today and we'll have uh, something to do tomorrow all right yeah and don't forget to subscribe like and share uh, thanks for watching <laughs> I think that's it I think that's it you guys well until tomorrow deuces did learn a, a valuable lesson. I was wrong about the pegs. Um, they can be pulled from the front. They can be pulled I was, from uh, the front. <laughs> that was, is uh, so mature of him. I was a bit skeptical because, you know, working with plastic pegs. He was pegs, very I skeptical. Was very, uh, he didn't even want to take the panel I didn't want to touch off. it. He's like, no, I don't think we should do that. And <laughs> I don't care who I'm does talking it on about YouTube. it. He had something to say like, in every corner.